Hey, hey, uh, hi, ho. This is Igra Glass, and today I'll tell you in this guide, I'll tell you how to control your character in Tangaria in multiplayer regular game. So let's first create a character. In my previous videos, I'll showed you how to create it, so it's very easy. You see, just a few seconds, and we made it. So, how to control? When I just first start, first time saw how my father played regular game, it was very hard for me to understand how to control it because there are a lot of hot case, and you need to remember them. It's uh, like 50 controls, 50 uh, hot case to remember. It's a lot. But actually, most of them, you do not need them at the beginning. And when you just start to play, you need only 10, only 10 uh, hotkeys to remember. And I'll show them uh, to you today. We will learn how to play together. And uh, I'll show you some more uh, uh, hotkeys later on. So the first thing is to movement. You should use for movement numpad. Numpad it's this uh, right part of the keyboard. If you play at uh, laptop, if you do not have numpad at your hot key at your keyboard, it's not a problem. There are different solutions to it. First of all, uh, you could just buy numpad. Let me show it. Um, yeah, you could just buy numpad. It costs like uh, two dollars or something like this, so it's very very cheap thing. USB numpad. So even if you have keyboard without numpad, you could buy it separately for two dollars only. Another thing that uh, there is a way to control your character without numpad. Uh, if you will go to the options uh, here, uh, there is a yeah to to go to options we push. Uh, equal, equal sign equal then we go a uh, and here we have use you like command case set you could make it yes by pushing enter and then save your settings and then you will be able to play without numpad without numpad by uh, you will move by a j k l uh, buttons but uh, most of the players, and I recommend it to play with numpad, it's much better, it's much easier. So, yeah, if you do not have it, just, just buy numpad for two dollars. So, uh, you move yourself with uh, num numpad case, and uh, you, of course, you could use arrows, actually. But the problem is that you can't uh, go diagonally when you use arrows and it's super important for your survival sometimes to move diagonally like I am doing right now uh, you could cut uh, cut corners and monsters will be hard to catch you and in some places you just can't get without uh, diagonal movement so you your right uh, your right hand always uh, stays at your numpad to move around and your left hand you use it for different uh, hotkeys so when you just started to play uh, you appear in the tavern and in the tavern first thing which you should do it's to look around to do so you push a l button l it means look and when you push it uh, automatically you look at yourself at first and as there are nothing interesting around even though you use your um, your um, direction direction case the only thing which you could find it's entrance so by default when you push look it shows only interesting thing things of course uh, for example if you will meet monster and you will push l and then direction to this monster you will see this monster so there are different uh, modes for look command so first it's looking for the most interesting things for example this is a cat uh, this is old man you see here description at the top of the screen but also there is an another uh, way to look around you push l and then after it you push p and when you push p you will you could just look at everything around you 
So you move your cursor with the numpad and you could see the names of all uh, stuff at your screen. You see? So this is black, it's unknown grids because it's not, now it's a dark night. So I, we need to investigate what is it. This is a rock, this is a barrel. So yeah, first thing is to look around. Next, what we will do when we already looked around a bit, it's uh, push I. I, it's inventory. Inventory, it's what we have in our pockets, uh, our backpack. So here we have some rations of food, uh, some more food, it's beef jerky, a few potions, healing potions and buff potion, uh, scrolls, fast door scrolls, they will, I'll tell about it next time, but in a few words, fast doors will help you to teleport in short distance, remove hunger will help you if you will become hungry, <laughs> word of recall will get you out of the uh, dungeon to the surface or back, so it's kind of teleport, long way teleport. So. If you will push I button, you will always uh, see you, what you have inside of your backpack. Each item has certain weight. So if you have a lot of items uh, in one stack, uh, they will weigh a lot. To, end, to exit um, inventory mode, you push escape. So every time when something stuck at the screen, when you want to clean the screen, you use escape. Then uh, next button it's E, E equipment, and here we see what we have, um, what equipped at our character. We are wielding dagger. We have a light source wooden torch. At our body we have soft leather armor, and also we have spade as a tool. Spade. Oh, again, all these items they have their own weight, so. For example, if you are a mage, you want to have light armor. If you are a heavy warrior, you want to have a very durable armor. So each uh, each item has index at which we um, have have it. So if we push E, we we see uh, this list. If we push Escape, we could close it and. Uh, also, we could see our quiver. Quiver is a special place. Um, if you will push shift, and um, yeah, you see it's a uh, night ended and now it's a day. So if we if you push uh, this command line, um, vertical line, shift plus this, uh, you will see a quiver. But we will like uh, take a look at it a bit later when we will have something inside. So. Now, uh, what we could do, um, let's, let's take off items which we have just for demonstration. So if we push T, we could uh, take off, example, a dagger. To, to take off dagger, we should um, choose index. So after we push T to take off item, we choose, for example, A. So we took off our dagger. Now if we see our equipment, we do not see here a dagger. So we could wear it. To wear item, we use W, wear or wield command. W, and now we could choose index of this item. And it's E right now. Why it's E? Because if we would look at our inventory, uh, in inventory, all items, they all always sorted in alphabetical order. First we have food, then potions, then scrolls, then weapons. So uh, these indexes, they change uh, when you um, have something new in your inventory or when you uh, drop something, for example. So right now our dagger is I. So if we want to wield it, we push W and then I to wield it back. So now we have our dagger, it's, it's again wielded. So we already know five commands. Nice. We could look around, we could open inventory, equipment, we could take off items and uh, wear, wear or wield items. Now let's go to the dungeon. 
first we will buy some rocks in my previous video i previous guide i showed you how to buy rocks but yeah you just go into npc purchase p button and choose throwing rocks z let's buy 40 40 and push enter so now we have we bought we bought 30 rocks because we can't have 40 we do not have enough gold and now we push escape to exit um, the shop so if we now we will see our quiver with shift line shift horizontal line we see that we have there 30 throwing rocks let's go to the to the dungeon and here we could learn how to move around it's very important thing that we could run to run around we use shift we hold it and then we push uh, press direction for example to the north or to the south so we when we hold shift our character run uh, like this so hold shift and push the direction and it will run somewhere also you could use dot button dot button or dot k it's the same thing like escape so if you can't use this graphic can't use shift so let's run toward the dungeon it's right here and to go down so we came to the entrance to the dungeon we stay on it and to go down we push uh, bracket shift plus dot bracket bracket so to go up we use this one to go down we use this one this uh, small smaller on bigger so uh, in the dungeon we found immediately you could by the way use look command command to look around and we immediately see old lantern here and also some doors so we could pick up this item by standing on it and push G so we push G and we pick up um, our lantern now we have lantern old lantern we see it in our inventory so we could wield it let's uh, use W and now choose index index of this item it's I okay now we have uh, old lantern and we could see uh, quite good in the darkness we see some other items we also could take them for example food rations uh, scrolls of fast door so it's very nice uh, to find it and we could uh, just run around oh you see i found a trap a trap of beauty and it made me uh, a bit ugly <laughs> But how you could be more ugly than a half troll? <laughs> I'm half troll, so. And you, we, we just investigate the dungeon and trying to find uh, monsters. Yeah, we see found, found some more items. We pick up them and we found a monster. We killed him immediately. We killed this monster immediately because, uh, yeah, your character attack enemies automatically. So you do not need to tell your warrior to kill something if something come in melee range. But at the same time, you could uh, use... Um, yeah, by the way, you could use Shift-L to move your screen. So you see, if you push Shift-L, you could move your screen around to see uh, uh, some parts of some parts of the screen which you want also there is an option to use ctrl l to center your screen at your character it's very useful so for example you have screen here screen somewhere here yeah and you want to yeah here and you want to center it you push ctrl l so shift l it's to move around ctrl to, it's to center and here if we will look around we see some scrolls we will take them some gold empty bottle and also we see floating eye floating eye it's a very dangerous monster who could paralyze us and we do not want to be paralyzed so we use h 
button. Uh, HK, we press it to throw stones to the nearest enemy. We push H, and our character started to throw stones. He throwed stones and killed uh, enemy. You could see it in messages window at uh, the bottom. So now we could again collect these items. And we see, oh, it's a cat. Cat started fighting with us and now uh, our character become four. What does it mean? It means that we have 40% of health. You see, uh, right now our hit points, it's 23 out of 48. So what we could do, first thing, we could drink healing potion. But as we have a few of them, it's better not to do right now. Uh, another thing what we could do is to rest. It's very important command to rest. So if you are in safe place, you could push, push uh, capital R, shift R. So you push shift R and game ask you for how long do you want to rest. And we will choose uh, till full. It's uh, shift seven till full and enter. So now our character rested, uh, game time become very fast forward when you rest. So resting is just kind of waiting, fast, forward, fast forwarding time. You wish always try to rest, uh, especially at the beginning, because when you do not have full hit points, because drinking potions, you should consider drinking potions only if you are hurt. Uh, by monsters in the battle, so you need to survive, then you want to drink them. So, also uh, we see some uh, some food. This monster dropped to us, we, show we, poop, poop, we pick up it. Yeah, with JK we pick up items. Uh, J because get, yeah, get command. G, get. Now we found a fountain. To drink for fountain we push uh, lower dash. So we push shift and uh, dash. If we have empty bottle in our inventory, uh, and we have empty bottle, you see, in our inventory we have empty bottle, then you could uh, fill it. And we could, when you drink from fountain, you could fill it by uh, choosing Y. Um, but if you do not have, and uh, then a potion will appear nearby, so you could pick it up. Now, uh, when you drink and you do not have anything, you will just uh, drink from fountain and now it become empty. Another thing which we could do is to dig, to tunnel. We could uh, remove trees or even remove uh, walls. So we push shift T, capital T, to tunnel, and then choose direction. For example, let's clear path. So you see, we, we destroyed this tree. We chopped down this tree. Another monster here. And again, we have uh, floating eye. So let's center the screen with control L and use our H button to throw stones into it. You see, we throw stones, and even these stones, uh, we pick it up. Uh, one stone um, was lying on the floor. We were able to pick it up because, yeah, some stones, they become destroyed. Also, you see, we see here a snake. And this snake, she could poison us, so it's also better to use stones, to throw stones uh, to destroy it uh, from the distance. Let's uh, investigate some more parts of the dungeon. And yeah, you see, we, we found a lot of monsters, a lot of items here, potions, and uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff, very wealthy level. And we see here even quite dangerous Jelliant. We want to start throwing stones into him to mock him up. And then we finish him in melee. So you see my uh, character becomes 7 because I have 70% of the health, but it's already become more. So I become 
it's regenerating quite fast even in real time i am level 5 it's quite a lot for this dungeon because this is newbie dungeon this is a dungeon uh, introduction dungeon so we should go to another one so we will be trying to find right now this is by the way um, uh, th this is uh, gray mold and gray mold it's also all molds uh, it's monsters which you also want to destroy with stones it, it's preferable because they could harm your equipment they could poison you so let's go and we found staircase up let's go out of this dungeon so we stand at the scared staircase and push uh, shift uh, smaller sign okay now we're back to town uh, what we could do we have a, a bit of gold 42 gold so we could uh, get to buy some more stones or we, you could consider go to the wizard yeah here and uh, buy some healing potions so we push p to purchase then we choose index b and yeah we could buy like four potions it's all right then we exit and let's go to another dungeon the thing, the thing is that we cannot enter our first dungeon again. You see, when I'm trying to do it, it says that I am too powerful to enter. It's a special feature of the game. It's called Dungeon Bracket System. So if you pass certain threshold, you can't return to previous dungeon. So as I am quite high level i'm level five already i can't enter this dungeon so when you see this message you should go just to, to the next dungeon and to go there we will go to the east and here you see we found entrance to another dungeon and to enter this dungeon we need uh, just um a level five we need to have level five you see because there is a a small uh, glyph at the entrance so five means that five level five it's maximum level upon you could enter here so if i'll get level six i wouldn't be able to enter here but for now i'm level five so i could do it and let's go down so this is more advanced dun uh, dungeon and here uh, we will meet more dangerous monsters and more dangerous monsters, uh, they will sometimes uh, make our life quite hard. And we will need to drink healing potions. But how to do it fast? Because if we will push uh, new command, let's learn new command, quaff, Q. So if we want to drink potion, we push Q and then we choose certain index. Of the potion so we have potion cure light wounds we want to drink it and it has a d index the problem is that if we will pick up more items like i'm doing right now after a certain time these indexes they might change so when you need to drink potion fast in the battle you will push quaff q and then you will need to look, look uh, at the index, at the proper index. And as game uh, in the battle could be quite fast, you do not have time for it. So what you want to do, you want to create a macro. Macro is a possibility to map at one hotkey, for example, at F1, you could map several actions at once. So let's create a macro. So we will, when we will push F1, our character will quaff a portion of Cure Light Wounds. So our character will put to action Q and then he will choose uh, D. To create a macro, we go to Shift 5 to open macro uh, menu creation, macro creation menu. And here we have very 
cool uh, macro wizard so it, it's very easy to create a macro here we to drink a potion with a hotkey we want to use came up by item because potion is an item so we we choose h then we choose a k in our case it will be f1 now we choose which item we want to use and we want uh, healing potions at index d okay our came up ready now to finish it we need to choose uh, shift 4 gold sign shift 4 it asks it asks us save this came up we say yes and push any key now it's better to save it when we, when you create a macro better to save your macro in file so we push b in the menu save came up to file b and push enter now if even our character die our new character with the same name will have uh, this macro so we do not need to set up it every time push uh, escape to exit this menu and now if we will push uh, f1 okay our character will drink a potion healing potion this is essential and very important thing to have a lot of uh, macroses not a lot of but for most of your if you're a mage for example you will need uh, macro for all your spells uh, as a warrior you will need macro for shooting for example because right now i'm just throwing rocks but uh, if we will find different types of projectiles you may consider to shoot different uh, projectiles in different enemies depending on their resistance for example also uh, another command which is very important it's we know now quaff and another important command it's read r so by reading we could read the scroll i have already plenty of different scrolls and new scrolls which i just recently found they have very strange names it's because they are not identified to identify item you could just uh, try it so you could read let's try to read this uh, scroll tiled by rukus core with o index so r o and we see that it was scroll of life in our messages we saw it and now if we will look into into our inventory you see uh, as we had two scrolls one we used and uh, it was identified now we know that all scrolls with such strange names they are they are actually scrolls of identify uh, scrolls of life so we could read uh, another scroll to check what is it so r p so it's scroll of it was scroll of blessing so such way you could identify uh, scrolls you could identify potions so if we will drink this dark green potions with q command quaff q and now g we know that it was potion of confusion right now i'm confused so yeah now i need to wait when confusion will go down because you see i have a confusion uh, malus effect which make me go and attack in wrong uh, in wrong uh, place okay it's uh, lifted already and let's make a macro for reading fast door scroll so fast door scroll let's just test it r to read and then index i to to use fast door so you see my character was stayed here and now he moved around so this fast door scroll they give you possibility to teleport around and this is very important uh, very important thing because this way you could run away from dangerous situation and again uh, the problem is that you need to do it fast so how to do it fast if these indexes they change we need to create a macro so again we push shift 5 
and we create came up by item h let's make this uh, on f12 so i like f12 to have um even no f12 i use for word of recall let's use f8 so f8 and f8 will be our fast door scroll i now uh, finish macro with shift 4 yes space and save to the file okay now when we push f8 our character use fast door scroll this is a very nice and useful way to do everything fast so now we do not need to afraid uh, monsters dangerous monsters so we go could go deeper you see another staircase down we could go deeper and find some dangerous monsters and if we will have hard, hard times we will use f1 to drink healing potion or f8 to teleport around so yeah now we're um, feeling as ourselves all right this way you could macro a lot of things but actually uh, some potions they could be quite rare to get for example the potion berserk strength which we get in the beginning it's quite a rare potion and it's not worth to make a macro for it there is a bet better way better way to uh, to use it fast so again if we will try to use it with a q and then find index it will be a long time when we will find it because it's they change but there is a possibility to inscribe item inscribing items could be done with uh, shift uh, figure bracket and now we could choose what to inscribe let's choose e berserk strength potion and we could inscribe it with the command uh, dog I, I, I don't know how in English uh, this sign is, but in Russian we call it dog. <laughs> so, uh, regular sign, okay. <laughs> regular sign, then we push command Q because we want to quaff it and one. And one, it's in, we assign this item certain index one. So now we push enter to finish. So, what we did. If we would look at our inventory, we would see that near to this item, we have inscription. Uh, regular -like sign Q1. What does it mean? It means that if we would push quaff Q, and now we do not need to look at these indexes. We ju could just push 1 to use this item. So if we will push Q1, our character will drink this potion this way you could uh, also inscribe any other items for example buff uh, scroll of blessing it's a nice buff let's push shift figure bracket choose uh, scroll of life j and inscribe it with regular -like sign r1 so now when we when we have a fight and we do not have time to look at the indexes we push r and one r and one and our character um, oh i missed i i inscribed scroll of life but actually yeah you could inscribe uh, the same inscription could have a lot of items so you could inscribe all your buff scrolls by r1 for example so then we will be able to um, you wouldn't forget that you could use uh, this r and one index one another uh, useful command it's uh, to communicate with other players so to see who is online right now you push shift two and uh, you see that right now it's morning not much people around i am alone right now but if you have uh, more players here then you could say hello to them so you push shift uh, dots a semicolon uh, and you enter message mode message mode and now you could uh, and um, write something 
So you push shift uh, semicolon and you could say hello world. And in chat window, people will see it. Uh, if you wish to see all the chat from other players in your main messages window, then you could just uh, click at the chat window and make it non-visible. Then all uh, messages will move to this window. I play like this. I do not like to use a message window, but yeah, every, everyone has uh, their own way to play. Also, if you would miss uh, certain messages, not only chat, but even fighting with monsters, you could always push Ctrl P. Ctrl P, and then uh, you could see history, your game history, and you could push P to go previous. So you could find uh, when you just started your adventures, you could go to the, the beginning, or you push N uh, to move down here so you could navigate like this or just use your arrows but i prefer n and p uh, buttons so it's very, very useful sometimes you could uh, have very fast f uh, fast fights and it's hard to find what happened so with this control p you could see message history if you uh, become um, if it's hard for you to find the way if you lost in the dungeon you could try to open the map push shift plus m and you will see the map uh, let's go out of the dungeon to do it you could go just uh, using staircases like this so you go staircase up or you could use you could read word of recall scroll you see index l so yeah it's asking us do we want to exit yes we want to exit yeah here we go and i want to show you a uh, very important concept of s slowing time slowing time concept i'll make uh, maybe some more videos about it but in this um, first video i want just to show you more stuff so when you I, i'm going to swim i'm swimming right now and when i swim uh, i'm not really good at swimming so i becoming to drone i'm droning when our hit points become lesser than certain amount uh, game become very slow right now we do not see it because there are no enemies around but if there will be a lot of enemies and we will be in the dungeon then game will become very slow uh, let me show it at an uh, indifferent dungeon so it will be easier to understand yeah, let's move. So, by the way, you see, I am level 6 right now. And now, when I'm trying to enter this dungeon, I can't do it. I can't do it. So, we need to go to the next one. Because this was dungeon for level 5. And uh, there is a dungeon for level 10. Or maximum level there, it's 10. We just need to find the way. Yeah. Somewhere here. It's or it's called Orc Caves. Here we go. And in this dungeon, I'll try to get my hit points low. Come on. Yeah, you see the spiders, they're attacking me. Yeah, my hit points low. And now, uh, game become very slow. You see? Uh, now, uh, enemies, they do not uh, attack me too fast. And when I'm trying to run, I'm also becoming very slow. It's because we hit threshold uh, on which game become much slower. So, let's drink some potions. You see, we have time to act. When, uh, when everything's slow, so we could drink potions. It's better not to be attacked by several monsters at once. So doing something like this. Drink potion of healing and attack. 
See, it's hard time for us, but we survived. So the thing is uh, that there is a possibility some players they want to be able to play always at fast speed. It's possible uh, to change this setting of slowing time. You go to options, equality sign, and then you choose set hit point warning H. And here you could set threshold which uh, at which game will slow down. Right now it's six. So if you do not want the game to slow down, you push zero. And now game always uh, will be will work at normal speed, even if I am hard. Um, but actually I recommend to have like five. So at 50% uh, game will slow down. Now uh, I want to show you party interface. So you could invite other players to, uh, and play together. It's multiplayer game. So you could uh, play with your friends, fight monsters with your friends. So right now we have another player online. And uh, how to create party? You push capital P, shift plus P. And here you could create a party. You push one and let's make it like team. Team one, two, three, enter. And now we created a party. So if we would like take a look at uh, the shift two interface, you will see that uh, I am, I have, I'm not natural. Natural means that there is no party, but I have team one, two, three. So I could uh, invite Stukense to this team. So I could push shift, shift P and add another player to party two and add player to enter the name now. Can see. Ya. Okay. I've added my friend to the party and now we could uh, play together. We uh, share experience when we are in the same dungeon level we share experience and we see that we see each other even at big distance so it's very a nice thing to play together with your friends another useful comment it's eat eating food so we have some food and uh, to do it we push shift e so capital e and we could choose what to eat let's eat handful of dried fruits because I have quite a lot of satiation. You see, I, I'm fed 68% fat, fat, it's a lot. So I do not want to eat really. If, uh, so I push A to eat this handle of fruits and you see it's uh, increased. It's very dangerous thing to overeat. So it's better not to overeat or you will become slow. So if we would push uh, shift E, let's overeat. Just for example, but don't do it. And yeah, you see, I become full at 96-95% uh, full. And this is very bad thing because you become slow. Let me uh, show it again. Yeah, you see, I am slow. Slow, uh, it means that my speed uh, decreased. And when your speed decreased, your actions uh, will become slower, your movement, your fighting, everything. So it's very important, do not have slow. So be careful in eating. And also sometimes you could meet monsters, even invisible monsters, ghosts, which could steal your food or make you hungry. So you need uh, to be careful. And if you hear strange sound and nothing around you, like, like this, this sound, uh, check check the guide um, at the website. There are a chapter called Hunger, so uh, you could hear this so sound. Then you should run because it means that some invisible monster is trying to steal your food or make you hungry. So yeah, you should look at your uh, hungry status uh, to be safe. To so you wouldn't die from starvation because first you start to faint, then you could even die because of starvation. And uh, of course, there are a lot of more commands. So let me enter my main character so I'll be able to show them to you. Um, some commands of interaction with magical items. But yeah, for now, what we could do, it's uh, commands to open and close doors. So to open door, you could just um, get into the direction of this door. But also you could use... Uh, O, open. 
to open something nearby to you. Other command is close, C. So you could open and close doors. Also, you could uh, even uh, lock doors uh, using their lock, Shift D. Also, Shift D, it's a disarm command. So now I locked these doors with the lock. So monsters, they may, uh, it may be hard for them to open locked door from other side. So um, Shift D, it's also a possibility to disarm traps. If you will find some traps, you could use Shift D to disarm them. Another important command is inspect. So it's capital I. So regular I it's inventory. And if we will push Shift I, we could inspect items in our inventory. For example, let's choose fast door scrolls. And inspecting show you information about uh, items. For example, fast door scrolls, when you read it, teleports you randomly at 10 squares away. So each item you could uh, inspect it. Yeah. And also you could inspect your weapons. To do so, you push Shift I. And then uh, you see here we have some options at the top of the screen. You could use slash, slash for equipment. So if we would push Shift I and slash, you could see your equipment and then you could uh, here choose which equipment to investigate. It's very useful to investigate your weapons because there you will see um, damage of certain items. For example, with a dagger, with a, this uh, dagger, I make uh, 22 damage per round. What does it mean? It means that uh, every time when, when I fight with enemies, when I exchange blows, it's uh, like a round. And as I am using very light weapon, dagger, you see it's only one and uh, 1.2 LBs. It's very light. It means that I could make several blows with this dagger. So if we investigate it, we see that we make three and 3.4 blows per round. It's a lot. So if I'll use heavy weapons, it will be much uh, smaller. And th it's, it means that I uh, the damage of this dagger is from 1 uh, to 4. So I make 3 of such uh, blows with this dagger, making a lot of damage. Uh, for warrior damage, uh, for warrior and for melee classes, uh, number of blows per round depends on strength, parameter strength, and also uh, on dexterity. So you may want to have at least uh, 18 slash 30 strength when you start a character. So you will have uh, more, uh, more damage at the start. Again, if we, if we see a snake, it's better to use our stones to throw them because some snakes, they could be very nasty, they could uh, poison you. Uh, what, what more, uh, which more uh, comments we could use? We could use uh, comments F, uh, Shift F, to fuel our lamp, fuel F, Shift F. But I do not have right now any light to refuel my lamp. Let me uh, switch to my uh, main character because I showed you my dummy character. So let me switch to my main So uh, this is my mage and If we will buy let, let's go and buy a few lumps a, a few flasks of oil Purchase flask of oil one. Yeah, so if we push uh, shift F you'll be able to fuel uh, your light source. I have lantern. I have lantern, so I could use Shift F to fuel it. And after I fueled it, it has much more turns, which it gives gives light. Another uh, commands. There are a lot of different commands for magical items. Um, for example, I have some magical wands with me. You may also find it uh, in game. And to use wand, you push A, aim, aim, wand. So you could uh, aim wand, then you cho choose which one, 
and choose direction. You see, I did it, and I uh, my wand hit it uh, somewhere because it was dark. I didn't uh, saw it where it hit. So the same thing you could make. Uh, you could make macroses for your wands. It's very useful. You see, I have macro for all my wands, but actually even wands I use them with inscriptions, not with macros, because you often find different ones, so I prefer inscriptions, not macros to them. But all my magic, and I have, you see, three magical books with a lot of different spells, I have uh, macroses for them. Another uh, comment it's you to use magical stuffs. I do not have any stuff with me, but it's kind of the same as a wand, but stuffs, you do not uh, aim them. You just use them. Then, actually, here, there, even more universal, uh, capital U. Capital U, it's a use item, and here it will show you all kind of different items, items which you could use, aim, drink, and yeah, o other comments. Sometimes you may find a rod. Rod, it's kind of magical wand, which can't uh, be depleted of charges. Very rare and interesting artifact. So, uh, these rods, you could zap them. You push Z to zap. Um, yeah, push zap, uh, Z, and uh, then uh, it, will, uh, you, it will work. Another command, uh, it's capital A. Shift A, activate, and it gives possibility to activate magical artifacts, um, equipment which you have. For example, I have a ring of digging equipped, so I could activate it. So if we would activate it and choose direction, it will dig something. So you see, it, <laughs> uh, I failed to use it properly. Let's try it again. Shift A, D, and direction. So you see, it could uh, dig stuff, but not in not it works on um, dungeon walls, not, not in, in town. Another uh, useful comment it's drop gold. So you know uh, that dropping stuff it's D button, drop D. And you could choose anything. So it will, you could drop anything to trade with other players. Uh, but also you could drop gold. To drop gold, you push uh, Shift 4. Shift 4, you could uh, choose how much gold to drop. And yeah, you, you drop it like this, so other player could pick it up. Another command, it's uh, command to buy houses, uh, shift H, capital H. So first you need to find house which is unoccupied, uh, for example this one. So if you would move towards closed door, you will see how much does it cost. It means that the, you could buy this house, so you push shift, capital H, and then direction. I do not have enough money, but yeah, it's how you could buy a house. And also, also when, you, when you just start to play, you could just build a house for free, or you could buy for free, because you have special uh, voucher, house deed, and uh, when even a new player, when you reach level 8, you could buy house and open your own uh, store there. So, for example, when you buy house, you could uh, inscribe items to sell them in your store. You uh, push uh, figure bracket and let's inscribe this helmet to put it on sale. We use tilde and then price, for example, like this. So now when, when I'll drop this item on the ground, uh, other players will be able to buy it. To buy them, to buy this item, they just... Uh, they need to move towards my door. Let me show you at other player door because I can't buy items from myself. So you see, like this, oh no. Here. You see this uh, player, he's uh, selling some items and uh, there is a price, not uh, too high by the way. And you could, could buy and sell items. Another, uh, another comment, useful comment, it's actually, uh, let me switch to my demonstration client. So, because I remapped some, you could change all these uh, mappings, all key mappings, you could change it as you wish. So another uh, comment, it's tilde. 
and uh, when you push tilde you could see a lot of different information different spoilers so um, important thing it's monster knowledge because here you could see which monsters you killed and how much also you could see some artifact knowledge to find out which artifacts found by other players right now it's also useful because all artifacts they're unique and a true artifact could be found only once at server until it will be lost by a player and another player will be able to find it another comment it's monster search uh, by the um, um, slash you push slash and then you could put the name of monster for example uh, kabold so then you could see information about this monster the more monsters you will kill of this uh, kind, the more information you will see about it. So it's very useful to see. Um, also, you could enter not only the name, but only a character. For example, A, it will show you some kind of co cockroach, soldier, ant, and others. That's it. It's um, most of the comments which you need to start playing the game actually there are much more comments of course because there are much more comments and you could see uh, the guide on the website uh, to see full list of comments or also you could push shift um, slash to question mark yeah you push question mark and here you could choose available comments to see full list of uh, game comments you see there are a lot of them so you could uh, learn some more. But uh, I think uh, in some next upcoming guides, I'll make more videos about different stuff, about macroses, about inscription and comments. So it was just first demonstration to show you uh, basics, uh, how to start play and how to be not confused by a lot of comments. So actually in time you will get to get used to it and it's like two hours if you will play two hours you will learn uh, the most essential 10 comments which i showed at the beginning and then um, gradually you will learn others too thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe at my channel and uh, see you in game bye bye